Does having dual change anything in terms of property taxes? No, it does not. Um, and another really cool thing is if any, and this goes for anybody, you don't even have to have dual citizenship, but if you purchase a home in Italy and you make it your primary residence, you pay zero in property taxes. That's pretty cool. You pay zero in property taxes, and then you go to sell it in five years. You have to keep it for five years. You sell it in five years, you don't pay any taxes on that revenue, on that income. But that's only if it's your, your first home, let's say. Cons to getting dual. I honestly don't know any. I honestly don't know any. I have yet to experience any cons. Um, if anybody has any cons, feel free to put it down below, but I don't know of any cons of having dual citizenship. It's really only full of pros. There's no such thing as double taxation, so just get that out of your mind. There's no such thing as a draft, right? Because I know back in the day, you know, there was a mandatory draft in Italy when you turned 18, which is a reason why most people, most Italians got rid of their Italian citizenships and became American citizens before 18. But um, the draft no longer exists. No, it's really only full of pros. Ballpark cost to become citizen through your services. I can't give a ballpark cost because a price for you is going to, like your case and somebody else's case are two completely different cases. Okay. Um, we would have to analyze your case. Some things that do make a difference in the cost, in the price that we give you is how far back generationally speaking are we going? How many documents, what kind of documents um, are needed for the process and how many people are interested in being part of the folder. So there's no one size fits all um, price structure. It depends on your specific case and we need to analyze that case and then we get back to you with a quote. And you just let us know if you'd like to move forward or not. Photo Witch is on something. I don't know what she's on, but she needs to take a chill pill. How long does it take to get citizenship for family group of Italian grandma became US citizen? So if you are eligible and you're interested in expediting the process, we legally do the process in the courts of the jurisdiction of where your ancestor from Italy was born. So it really depends on that particular jurisdiction. There are some jurisdictions that work faster or slower than others. And then it also depends on the judge that is assigned your case because some judges are lazier or more proactive than others. So once we make that court date, it's really all on them. We wait for that court date to arrive and then they, and then the court date comes, they approve your folder and then they issue you guys citizenship certificates. So it's really a matter of where we have to do this process and what judge is assigned your case. Uh, unfortunately for Naples, for example, Stereotypically speaking, they just don't like working in Naples. And so that process is going to take longer than if we were in Palermo, let's say. Palermo happens to be a jurisdiction that works very, very proactively. Um, so it really depends on where we're doing the process. Okay, we have a fight in this comment section in Italian. Let me... Um Is it rude to get a quote so I know how much to save up if I don't have the money right now? Um, no, that's okay. As long as you're eligible, we really, we only have discussions of our services and how much things cost if you're eligible for dual. So first we need to figure out if you're eligible, okay? And then of course we can hop on a call with the team. We can talk about the details of our services, any, answer any of the questions that you may have. We'll get you a quote, and then you can begin doing your thing. You can say, I'm not ready right now, but I'll be ready, you know, at this date. So absolutely, we can do that, yes. But also keep in mind, this is very helpful, that the quote that we give you is not, you know, upfront in one go. It's divided into four payments. Okay, now I'm gonna go into kind of the spiel that I give to potential clients. It's divided into four payments. So the first is the down payment. 
Okay, this is going to allow us to begin the uh, the search of your ancestor's birth certificate because we are going to need to, even if you have it, we're going to have to request a new one, okay, so because they need to be relatively updated documents. And it's going to allow us to begin organizing legal matters on R, and it's going to be a way of reserving your folder. So if you make that down payment, it's going to secure your spot because we do work with a limited number of clients each month in order to ensure high-quality service. So making that down payment, you can say, Kiana, I'm not right now. I'm not ready right now, but I want to make this down payment. I'll be ready next March, let's say. So we know not to fill up Zach's spot. I believe your name is Zach um, for March. Okay. Um, and it's going to be a way of locking in that quote that we do give you in the email because sometimes some people, they wait months and months and months to finally um, make the plunge and begin the process. And unfortunately things change, things get more expensive. So that down payment is going to lock the quote in that we give you in the email. And it's going to be a way of reserving your folder. The second payment is before sending us your us based docs. The third payment is one week before the trial. And then the fourth payment is when the judge approves your papers. So let's say you can't afford the quote that I give you right now. Keep in mind that it's going to be divided into four payments and then also spread out over a period of time. So it could be very, very helpful. And if you add people into the folder, more people than just you, then that price gets divided over more heads. So it is in everyone's best interest to have more people join the folder. Okay. So that's some of like insider conversations that I have with clients who know that they're eligible and are interested in expediting the process to us. Have you considered getting a job? <laughs> That's a funny question. I, I must not be working all day. I don't know. I mean, have I can, should I get a job, guys? <laughs> That's funny. What is this? I know it's TikTok, but can we just pay all up front? Sure. Absolutely. You can absolutely pay all up front, right? That's no problem at all. Mm-hmm. Ok, vediamo cosa, cosa vuole Lino. Arrivo. What, what are we talking about here? We have Lino and Maurizio having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Ok, I've... Can you get a codice fiscale through the Italian consulate? Absolutely you can. That's really, that's what we tell people to do. It's really simple. You go on their website, you fill out a form, you send that in, and in like two weeks, if not less, they should, they should send you a, a fiscal code. So yes, 100% do it through the consulate.